Money Moves with Myth 2.0, the podcast. And always remember, gentlemen, it's a motherfucking movie. So today we're going to jump straight into the topic. We're going to be talking about how modern black women do not understand how to be in a functional relationship with black American black man. You know, um, not only do they not know how to be in a functional relationship with black man, um, 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 they lack the knowledge of how to be in a successful, a successful relationship with a man. Period. You know, and first of all, let's like, share, and subscribe. Um, <coughs> what do you guys think on the topic? Before we hop in the video, um. So, as we know, as we have seen, black, modern black women today is having a hard time, you know, they act like they're not having a hard time, they be like, single life, single Single, happy, uh, 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 I'm single. You know what I'm saying? Single, single, single. And then, out of nowhere, oh, I, j I just want to be in a relationship. You know, um, um, I do not want to die alone. Um, um, I don't want to have to be on this property that I own as a woman and, I'm on two, three acres and I don't feel safe because there's not a strong male presence there. So I have to buy dogs to feel safe. I have to buy dogs, cats, ETC, you know, I just do not feel safe. As we know, ever since a lot of modern black women have not had any type of strong male black man, you know, for the past, what, 30, 40 years, you know, most black women these days are used to the <coughs> baby mama culture. I don't know why, I don't know how they picked that up, the baby, the baby mama culture is so stupid, you know. I remember Project Pan. It's just my baby daddy. It's just my baby mama. You know what I'm saying? The baby daddy, baby mama culture. Where I have this child. And, and it was easy for me to have this child by this man. And easier for me to leave him and be like, oh, I'm single. And this is my baby daddy. Because that's all she's seen. She's seen her cousins do it. She's seen her aunties do it. She's seen her mom in and out of relationships, you know. Um, and now, <coughs> most modern American black women are paying the price. And when I say paying the price, they're paying the price because not too many men, even black men, are willing to fix her broken home. You see, you be, a lot of people be thinking that, oh, oh, it's a black man and a black woman's broken home that needs to be fixed. No, it's usually the woman uh, uh, that needs fixing. You know, it's usually the woman who is arguing, throwing all your, all your clothes to the streets, yelling at the top of her lungs, being disrespectful, 
um, um, it, it's, it's, it's usually the woman's mentality has to change. You know, and a lot of guys are not willing to, you know, try to fix something that is genetically broken. You know, where if her, if you look at her mom's track record, like we gotta really get to know these chicks. Like, like where did her mom, where was she raised? Let's go drive through that neighborhood. If you still in the same state, Drive through the neighborhood where this chick was raised. Was she raised in the projects? Was she raised in a single mother household? Where did her mom raise her at? <coughs> was there a man around? Did her dad die of, of natural causes or something like that? The reason why he wasn't there? Why wasn't there anybody... In, there we have to deep dive in this situation we have to get to know these women we have to hang around them like if like a lot of black women are torn and now they got this prostitution culture of you know of trying to get as much as possible out of every man that they can you know they want to live good off of our books. Not only do we help the infrastructure, <clears throat> you know, police force, military, dirty jobs and stuff that women don't want to do, but they also want to take the little money that the government lets, lets us have. You know, and they'll take that from as many men as possible. As long as you can conform to her bad way of thinking about money, her bad way of thinking about life, <clears throat> you know, it's insane. You know, we have to stay focused. You know, um, um, a lot of people don't understand a lot of black women will not understand because, it's just, like, it's uh, once it, once it's, it, it's been like a couple families, aunties and cousins, and everybody's going through the same thing. Now it's like a generational disease, you know that that, that cannot be fixed. Like a, a woman that's not willing to submit, you know. A whim, a woman is not willing to submit and not to uh, ready to adhere to a man's and, and don't understand a man. Like a lot of a lot of black women don't understand what a man is. That's why they walk around acting manly, and they don't care about it either. They they be like, oh yeah, yeah oh, you think I'm masculine? Yeah, I'm masculine, and they don't even care. You know, um, there's something wrong generational wise with that. But guys, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. You know, keep rocking with your boy. And I'm going to see you guys on the next video over and out.